Hey everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. Today we are going to take a look at the HD RGB floodlights. Let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the power. These can be ordered in either 24 volt DC or 120 volt AC versions. Depending on how you order it, you need to power it correctly with the correct power supply or just plug it into the wall. Now let's talk about the signal. These HD floods are controlled by DMX and they have signal cables that go in and out of them. And they have this connector on it. You can either use this connector or you can cut it off, which will expose the three wires. We're gonna talk about those right now. So here are the wires that you will see once you cut it off. And each of these corresponds to the correct wire on your controller. We have the brown wire, which is your DMX plus wire, the blue, which is the DMX negative wire, and the green and yellow wire, which is the DMX ground wire. Those can be attached to your DMX controller. After you've hooked up the power and the signal, we need to talk about the various menu options. These menu options apply to the 32 watt, the 72 watt, and the 110 watt version. The 216 watt version needs to be pre-addressed. It does not have an onboard menu. So when you order it, you need to let us know what DMX address you would like it set to. Okay, there are two buttons here, the A button and the B button. The A button is going to be your mode or function button, and the B button is your increase by one button. So right now we have this on the screen where it says 001. That's the DMX address that this is set to. If we go ahead and press the A button here, you see it's selected in the hundreds place, the tens place, the ones place. You can increase it by pressing the B button all the way up to nine, and then it starts again at zero, zero, zero. We're gonna set it at zero, zero, one. That's gonna be our DMX address for this. So that's how you set it. And if you were hooking this up with the DMX controller, that's all you would need to do. Set the address and walk away. And it, as you noticed, it started blinking it's good to go. Let's go into the other features of this. So we're gonna press the mode button here, cycle past this, and get to this P mode. So these P mode are static preset modes. And so you see the ones place is being highlighted. If I press this button again here, this first mode one or 11 uh, is the red mode. So 11 through 19 are all red modes. And if we increase this up, we can increase the intensity on the red channel. So increase that all the way up, and it cycles back down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the brightest on the red. Now, if we press this again, we go back to the DMX addresses, which is fine, but let's go ahead and so show the other features here. So P1, uh, which is 11 through 19, is gonna be your red. If we change this to two, it's going to be green, one and nine for intensity. Three will be yellow, Four is blue, five is magenta, six is cyan, and then seven, P71 to 79, is gonna be white. Now, if we go beyond that, that that's the uh, all the static modes, then it goes into sequence modes. So 81 here is going to be a clipping pattern, and you can control the intensity of that by increasing the uh, second channel there. Let's go highlight that again, go back, Okay, so now we're at eight. Nine is a different sequence. Now this is a panning sequence. Rather than clipping between sequences, it's gonna just pan. So uh, this pans between uh, white, uh, yellow, blue, purple, red, uh, a cyan, and a green, and then it repeats. And now go back around again. If we go to the next letter, which is A, this one's a little hard to watch this is a strobing sequence so we press that and the light is just strobing and that's uh, uh you can increase and decrease the speed of that with the one through the nine here and it also goes through a color sequence and that is white red green yellow blue purple and cyan and then it repeats and to get out of that cycle uh, let's just go back here into the static mode go back to red 19. So that's all the features of the menu item on the side of the screen. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was helpful for you in setting up your DMX RGB HD flood. 
For more helpful videos on DMX, please check out the playlist and light up that subscribe button.